Hey guys, Scott here for the lift. I think I'm being shot at. Holy crap. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> What's going on? This is Guy here from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetective.com. I hope I live to see the end of this video. Stay tuned. Jeez. Where'd it come from? <laughs> Man. Guys, Scott here with the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com. And this morning I'm out of the Civil War site here in Virginia. And I'm being shot at, if you can hear it in the background. Just kidding. It's, it's people shooting guns. I don't know where they are, but some of them sound like they're really close. And some of them, not so much. But I got my orange on, so we should be alright. Um... It's supposed to be a Civil War site, campsite, uh, that I got invited to, so we got the dais out this morning. Uh, this is an iron, thick patch of iron down into here, so I might have a signal right there, but I'm going to try to find something that somebody else missed. I'll, I'll check in when I got something good. Alright, I got a really good signal here. 83. I'm in a swamp. So I'm trying to get this before the hole fills in, but I'm not doing a good job. Obviously. Uh, could be a button. I'm not sure. Ooh. Try to work some of this mud out. Let's see if uh, I can hear it at the pinpointer. Oh, this has got the crack cap on it. Ooh, it's out. Uh oh, what's that? Thought I saw some white there. Check it out. What is it? I think it's going to be a fired three ringer that's exactly what it is oh that's cool all right we are on the board with our first civil war relic today a very flattened three ringer awesome we'll put that in the case not that one that's for buttons we'll go this side there we go all right just happened to come to the swamp. Maybe that's where I'm gonna stay. All right, next hole. Fill that back in. Maybe there's a whole bunch of them here. I'm gonna change my uh, speaker for you a little bit here. So you can hear what I'm hearing. I got a slight little signal here. Kind of rang up like the last bullet did. I think it might be a little deeper underneath this log. About 80, 81 ish. I'm gonna try to get that out. Oh man. It's like, it's like pulling the, it's like a big old thing of butter. It just digs so nice. I mean, shoot, we're in a swamp. I got it out. Nope, it's still in there. Take some from this side. 
That's super exciting. All right, let's see now if we got it. Ooh, it's out. And it's still ringing good. All right. Here we go. What do you guys think it's going to be? I don't know. Doesn't feel like a, bu a buckle. Or a buckle. Doesn't feel like a button. Or, I'm sorry, a bullet. <laughs> Let me get my words right here. Oh, I think that's a rivet. That might have had... Yeah. Small little rivet there. That could have been a relic from the Civil War. Take it off here and clean it up. Looks like a rivet. It may not be though. I'm not sure what that would be. Hmm. Oh well, we'll keep it. We'll keep it as a relic. Potentially. Alright, let's keep going. There might be some signal all over in here. Alright, we are going to regroup. I just don't think I'm getting deep enough with the dais, so I think it's time we break out the GPX. Yep, it's time for the GPX. Alright, turns out that was the ticket. Um, GPX, I think, just found me a really, really deep three ringer right down in that hole. Can't see it, but I just saw it with my own eyes. There it is. I'm gonna hit it with a shovel. Oh boy, look how beautiful that is. A white patina. Yep, that's a drop three ringer, baby. Hot diggity darn. That's a good relic from the American Civil War. No complaints here. Second bullet. I like that one a little better. All right, let's keep going. Might be a whole bunch in here. I think I got another one right here. Let's listen to it. Take my headphones off for you. Hopefully you can hear it through all the noise. Yeah, it sounds like a good bullet signal. And right here is the other one where I dug. So, probably a bullet right here. That's exciting. Let's dig it up. All right. I think I got it. I think I, well, I heard down here with the pinpointer. Might be in this clump. Oh, wait. I don't think that is a bullet. Check that out. What is that? It's got some green patina. Is that a fennel? Damn, what is that? I'm not sure. But I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to put that in the relic box. What is that? I don't know. That looks pretty neat though. Cool. Alright. Got to put it on the other side with the cotton balls. I, I think I'd, probably a better idea. Put it in here. Protect it. Alright. That's pretty cool. Two little targets right next to each other. Alright, let's keep going. Might be a whole bunch in here. This is why you go slow. There's another signal right there, right next to it. Another low bullet signal. Yep, right there. Mark it with my foot. I'll dig that out and show you whatever the target is here in a sec. All right, 
this one I think is going to fool me. It's not as deep as I thought. It's in the side wall. I'm seeing some iron. So I think I got fooled by nail. Which happens a lot on these GPX machines. So that's a bummer. Oh well. Got a really high signal right here. I don't know if you hear that or not, but usually I have mixed emotions about a high signal. Very seldom are they anything good. But place like this, you gotta dig them. Might be a shotgun shell or something. I'm sure that's probably what it is. Well, it's out, so let's see what it is. Not too deep, so. A nail? Come on now. That should not sound like a nail. Another target in there. Hmm. See what that is. Probably got it. Well, oh, whatever it is, it's small. I'm not worried about it. Well, that high signal is still in the hole, so there is still something else in there. Right there. Let's get a scoop out. Ooh. Behind it, come around, see if we can pull up here, figure out what it is. Let's get a nice button out of here. I could, must not have got it. Another nail? Come on. There cannot be nails in here like that. Hitting those high tones. I better check my settings. That's crazy. Man, I thought that was going to be something good. Nope. I'll check it again real quick. See, there's still something in there. That is not a nail. There's something else down there. All right, I'll come back here when I get the hole wider. All right, I think I see some green down here, which is exciting. I don't want to dig it too directly. I want to pop it out. What's it going to be? I see it right there. Oh. Gonna be another one of those rivets I think I found. I think it's a rivet. I don't know what it is. Is it a percussion cap maybe? I don't know. No clue. That little sucker almost gave up on you. But no, we got gotcha. you. Two of those today. I'm not sure what those are. 
But hey, we're finding some stuff. Let's keep going. Actually, let's double check. Make sure there's nothing in that hole still. Nope, there's another. Man, I'm glad. Wow. Alright, this is getting interesting. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I just found a grommet in that hole. That's another relic. From the Civil War. What, I still got signals in there, man. I don't know what's going on here. Could I be into something? Could I be into something? Because there's still, I think, another target in there. Oh, oh wait. Now it's a low tone. <laughs> Yeah, there's a low two in there. I'm gonna have to make it wider still. Stay tuned. Alright, I think I got the target. The target I've been after the whole time I think is out. I heard it in the pile. Oh, geez, GPX is rolling down the hill. Where are you? All right, what's this gonna be? Oh, what is it? Is it another grommet? I think it might be. Is that another grommet or is that a button? Nope, it's gonna be another grommet. I don't care though. Look how green that is. Hmm. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll take that. Right here at the bottom. I wonder if this is like a trench line or something. It looks like it was uh, very dug in. So this is all a big gully kind of thing going on right here. Not sure what it is. I'm gonna take my time in here though, because uh, I pulled what three or four, three targets out of there. Three a grommet, two grommets, and uh, well, I think two grommets and that unknown with rivet looking thing. So that's cool. We'll take that. Be nice to get into a hut. Thought maybe that might have been the start of one, but nope. All right, let's keep going. All right, I had another low tone. Um, that was gonna be a bullet, but I think it's gonna be something green again. Maybe another grommet. I don't know. What is it gonna be? Is it a button? Or is it just a bullet? A modern bullet, I think. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Modern bullet. Bummer. Oh well, next hole. Got another high tone. Looks like something green's in the hole again. It's another grommet. I believe it is. Another grommet. Well, at least there's those. <laughs> Man, I'd like to find something else. All right, three grommets, two bullets, two mystery items. We're gonna get a button, I can feel it. It's coming. All right, I'm back in the mud and uh, had a signal, somewhat of a, to me, it sounded like an iron signal, but it wasn't breaking, so. I went ahead and dug it. I gotta find it. I don't know where it is. Oh, look at that. What is that? Is that a bullet? I believe it is. 
Another, looks like another fired. That looks like a big old round ball. Fired round ball. 69 caliber. Maybe. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, it's a bullet. Yeah, I think it is a round ball. It's a big one too. Dang. So Swamp is giving it up. <laughs> Two bullets out of the Swamp. Maybe there's more. Probably more. All right. That GPX is amazing. If you know how to use this machine, I'll tell you what, this shovel, this stew line shovel that I get, I have, I've, I know I touted it a long time, for a long time now, but I broke one at DIV, but this thing, man, it would cut through anything. It's a little heavy, but that's what you need in these woods. So if you're looking for the shovel, uh, I'll put a link in my in the description for you if you wanna check it out. But uh, that's a good shovel. Very, very sturdy, it'll, it'll, it won't do you wrong, trust me. So I have a really, really banging sing signal right here. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not. It is deep and it is a high, high tone. And it is not breaking. <laughs> Could be one of those uh, once in a lifetime signals. But I've had those before and they turned out to be nothing. All right, so I'm getting pretty close. It's down there. I think what I'm gonna do just to be safe is I'm going to kind of use my little shovel, kind of dig around, feel what's going on down here. In case I do have some sort of amazing relic. I'm gonna pull it out with my hands. I mean, it's, whatever it is, it's down there. This is where, uh-oh, I think I felt it. Dude, it's green. It is totally green. All right, we need to like, get some stuff around it here. I don't know if it's a buckle or not, but it didn't look like a buckle. Ooh, snap, what was that? That's a root. All right, the goal now is to whatever it is, we need to get it out of there. Oh my God, dude. Dude, it's gonna be something good. <laughs> All right, I just wanna like, it's big. green I don't know if you can see it down there but it's got a lot of green all right I'm gonna go wider here oh I'm so glad I brought this little shovel Brian Carr that shovel is gonna come in golden today this I think is gonna be one to talk about when I get it out of the ground wherever it went I can barely contain myself right now. If that is a US buckle, you are gonna be seeing a guy scream with joy. But it might not be. I don't see no US insignia yet. But it could be the backside. Oh my god. It could be a breastplate too. Oh my god. Gotta go deep. Deeper. Gotta get underneath it. Is that a root? Or is that something else? Alright, I'm actually gonna take the camera and set it up right here on the side. So you can watch me dig this live. Hopefully you can see that. All right, I need two hands to get this out. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what it is? 
<laughs> it's a spoon. <laughs> Man, I thought that was going to be it. Uh, that's a cool little spoon, though. Might have been Civil War era. I don't know. Pretty green. Man. <laughs> I think it's all there, too. Yeah, I think it's all there. Just a little kink at the end. That's pretty neat, too. That is not what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. It's a cool relic. <laughs> oh. Darn it. Darn it. Thought we had something good. All right, guys. I'm back from my hunt yesterday with James Zolt and Kevin. I want to give those guys a huge shout-out for inviting me down to their uh, to Zolt's um, uh, permission. It's a Civil War camp, and um, it's been pounded over the years, but we all found something. And this is the stuff I found. This actually was one of the better hunts for me lately, just because of some personal items that were found um, that came out for me yesterday. I was really, really... At first, I thought I had a <laughs> breastplate or a U.S. plate, belt plate, with that item in the ground. And you guys saw the video. I was pretty excited and pumped up for it. But... It turned out to be a spoon, but it actually is a very, very cool spoon. This would have been a Civil War soldier's spoon combination. Uh, there would have been two more pieces to it. There was a knife and a fork also attached to it. That's why you have a little hole up here at the top. Uh, this is very, very cool because it's a personal item that the soldier had used. So um, of all the things I found, this is the coolest. And I, I mean... To be honest with you, this is the coolest thing I've found in a long time, Civil War related, besides bullets and things. Uh, I'm very, very happy to find that. Um, and I wouldn't have found that if I wouldn't have got the invite from Jolt. So thank you, sir, for inviting me down. And uh, this means a lot to me. This is a very personal item and from a Civil War soldier. So anytime you found something like this, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So I got the spoon. And then the other thing that I didn't know, uh, that these guys probably didn't know either yesterday, when I found it, it was caked with dirt and stuff. But when you clean it up, it's a uh, finial. So it's really cool. It's really tiny. And um, I, I haven't found one of those in a long time, but that's pretty cool too. I was really excited to see that. So besides that uh, item, got a couple bullets, a fired round ball here, and a drop three ringer. Nothing in the base. And then a fired three ringer that hit something hard because it's pretty pretty smashed up. Um, some grommets in the back. And then some of these little things, I think these are like little rivet things, probably would have held something together. Not sure what they would have been for, but um, pretty sure they're probably Civil War related, Civil War soldier related somehow. But that was the hunt in a nutshell. And um, like I said, I was struggling with the uh, with the with the XP Deus. I did find I believe I found this bullet with it um, in the mud puddle in the, in the swamp, but uh, I needed to get the GPX out. The GPX will punch them way deeper than all those VLF machines that I have. So that's how I found these things. So um, very happy. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot, but believe me, this alone is, is I could have just found that and been completely happy. So uh, thanks again to those guys and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. I thought it was pretty, pretty uh, exciting there with all the shoot going on. <laughs> And, uh, but this really made the day. So, uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in another mental mental video.